Hi, my name is Matthew Deroche with Bird Academy's VEX Robotics Team 7439. And I'd like to introduce to you our 2015 to 2016 VEX Robotics Competition Season Robot. This is our competition team robot, and our team is made up of myself and one other member, Zach Miller. And our robot here has won the main state championship as well as the main state programming skills. And I'm primarily responsible for the mechanics and building of the robot and anything else related to that. And Zach does most of the programming related things. Our uh, original intent for our robot this year was to shoot and score as many high goals as possible. Our first iteration of our robot we had problems with our shooter where we would have inaccuracy, balls shooting right and left, as well as having stalling issues where the motor would overheat after autonomous mode period ends. I realized that the motor overheating issue was purely mechanical. The motor overheating issue was just like pedaling a fixed gear bicycle down a hill. But the flywheels have so much momentum that they carry through and spin out. And our original issue is we would spin up our motors for autonomous, shoot a few balls, probably miss them because we had a very inaccurate robot then, and then cut power to the motors at the end of autonomous. But now the motors are then spinning down the speed, which then causes the motors to overheat and stall, and then we are left in the first 20 seconds of the driver control period with a useless shooter robot as our motors wouldn't be able to work until they cooled down a little bit. We found the solution to this was actually by using the same mechanism utilized in modern bicycles, is a ratchet and paw. This allows for a total disconnect between the motors, gears, and the gears connecting to the flywheel. And this simple mechanism added into our gear ratio has solved all of our overheating and stalling issues. We started by trying to utilize the ratchet and paw gears found in the winch and pulley kit. But after attempting to use the VEX made paws, I realized that the problem with using the standard paws was that they were too small and they relied on using axles which take up too much space. So I decided to make my own out of cutting up a pillow bearing and using screws to, to hold it to our main drive gear, which then allows for an extremely reliable and efficient disconnect. During early competitions, other teams also seem to have this issue. Most teams thought that they were having an electrical issue, possibly that their power expander was somehow limiting their power consumption, or the batteries weren't any good and they are just dying too quickly, causing their motors to just slowly lose power and stall. At States, I was actually happy to see that a few of these teams that I had talked to earlier in the season were actually using this mechanism, and they actually thanked me for explaining to them the mechanical solution to the issue, so that they could solve it themselves. Earlier in the season, we were using two Omni wheels as our shooter wheels, and they were so lightweight, we were only using one on either side where as soon as a ball would go through, they would slow down in a significant amount and it would take a longer time for them to spin back up the speed. But by using a more advanced gear ratio and two of the heaviest and largest wheels they were able to find, these are actually able to keep their momentum for a long amount of time, allowing for rapid and accurate shooting. And one way that we decided to solve these inconsistency issues was by using integrated motor encoders on each side of our flywheels so we can know exactly what speed each of these motors are spinning at and so that we can know that both of these motors on either side are going to be spinning the same speed and they're not going to be spinning at two different speeds trying to mesh together which could cause issues as well as 
having both sides spinning the same speed so that we're going to be shooting efficiently and accurately by using a PID loop to deaccelerate or reaccelerate the flywheels when needed. I love robotics because I learn best by doing. Robotics allows me to do hands-on trial and error engineering to get the best solutions to the VEX challenge. Cable is going to be team trying to place the defense. 